Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video, but before I start, I would like to say that this is going to be a series, and I'm going to be dissecting every battle of the War of the Roses. If you want me to put it into like a playlist or a full video, then please say in the comments section, but otherwise I'm going to be doing all the videos, so if you'd like to watch that, please like and subscribe. Thank you. The Wars of the Rose were a tough time for England, and most of the people living there were sick of getting new kings, or king consorts all the time. They were started because Henry VI, a mentally unstable person, was put in charge of a powerful country which was currently at war with France. He finally managed to end the 100 year war between England and France by losing nearly all the land that had been gained there, including Normandy. The Yorkists, who thought they should be in charge, weren't too pleased with this and decided to start a war on the House of Lancaster. This began the Wars of the Roses, which started with the Battle of St Albans, which I'll be covering. On the 18th of May, news reached the King and the Duke of Somerset that the Duke of York and his allies were marching south down the Great North Road. Somerset ordered Cardinal Thomas Bouchier to write to them, ordering them to disband. On the 20th of May, they sent a letter back stating they were loyal to the king and going down to London to protect him. They then continued to march down to London to overthrow the king. Somerset called his allies to St Albans and left London on the 21st of May, as he was afraid because there were too many Yorkists there. The king and Somerset camped at Watford, while the Yorkists camped on the road between Ware and St Albans. The Lancastrian army of 2,000 troops arrived first with Humphrey Stafford, Duke of Buckingham in command. They began defending it by placing troops along Tonman Ditch, the Bars and Sopwell Lane and Swapshire Lane. Buckingham's job of commander had been a last minute idea from Henry as he didn't trust Somerset or he thought of him as incompetent due to his past failures. He also could have not wanted to hurt York as he still liked him even though he was marching with an army to overthrow him. The 7,000 strong Yorkist army arrived and camped at Keyfield to the east. From here negotiations started but after a few hours the Yorkists got the idea that the king had no idea that the negotiations were going on and wasn't actually participating in them. The Duke of York's intentions were extremely reasonable as he only wanted the Duke of Somerset arrested and executed. Henry refused to reply to this. After several hours Richard Duke of York attacked. His army wasn't overly willing to commit treason, but they couldn't see the royal standard which was propped against the wall by the carrier Earl of Wiltshire. They decided it was all right to attack. Most of Henry's army was unaware as they didn't expect a fight because Blackheath was solved peacefully. However, two Yorkist fronts at the barricade near St Peter's Church didn't get anywhere and made heavy Yorkist casualties. The entire battle lasted for about half an hour. Warwick led a reserve force through the unguarded parts of town, through back lanes and gardens until he reached the market square with the Lancastrians, who weren't expecting to be participating in the fighting yet, were there. Warwick charged, killing the Lancastrians. Somerset, knowing that he was going to be killed, tried to hide in the castle inn which was then surrounded. He then decided to fight his way outside, where he expected to fight off the whole army by himself. He killed four Yorkists and died. The Earl of Northumberland was also killed trying to hide in the castle inn. Lord Clipton was hacked to death in the main street. One of the Earls ordered archers to shoot the people surrounding the king and Henry was injured by an arrow. The Lancastrians manning the barricades fled. This battle only killed 60 people but the king was captured for the first time of many and York was restored to his complete power. Now if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing as it would really help the channel and it would really motivate me to do more. I'll, this is the most high effort video yet, so if this doesn't get 50 views, I am just, I'm just quitting because I can't be bothered to do more because they take so much effort and no one watches them. Thank you.